Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign for this month. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind, this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. So if you're new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified and if you can hit like, share, and comment, this will help the channel to grow a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's see. Oyster. Okay. New physical or spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gift to open through study, prayer, and meditation. I feel with this oyster here that Taurus, you are showing that tough, scary face of yours. While this is not reality. You are always trying to show people around you that you are very strong and tough and, and in a kind of a cold energy. Like you are very grounded and very strong and nothing will move you. While I don't think this is true, you are covering something inside you with this shell. You are very loving and mushy from inside. I don't know why you are trying to show this face. I believe you are protecting yourself from something, Taurus. You are protecting yourself from... Or maybe there is a big changes, as this card is saying, inside you. And in the time of change, we always become weak and vulnerable. I think this is your way of protecting yourself by showing this face because there is so many things inside you are changing. There is a big transformation inside you. And I believe this transformation has nothing to do with reality like work or life. Something spiritual is changing. <coughs> Excuse me. Your card in the tarot is the Hierophant. You are a very spiritual soul. And it seems here for a very long time, you tried to hide that spiritual aspect of yours deep inside i believe right now there is changes happening inside you and you are going to take that spiritual gift and bring it and bring it out to the light i think taurus you stayed for a very long time thinking that this spiritual feelings or gift or belief is not important I think right now your perspective is changing and you start to think it's very important. Maybe it's not important to anyone, but it's very important to you. Somebody here is blocking their happiness with this seven of wands, but I don't think, not anymore, not anymore. 
Something is changing inside you, Taurus. Let's see. You are facing the Ten of Cups. You are leaving something behind and going somewhere, somewhere new. Emotionally or maybe in reality as well. Let's see. Three cards for your health. Three cards for your money and career. Three cards for your love life. This is your money and career. Mm. Usually I don't have reversals in the cards, but it is what it is. I'm going to leave it that way. This is your love life. In your health, we have the chariot, the five of pentacles, and the five of wands. In your money and career, the ace of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the queen of cups in reverse. For your love life, the five of cups, the ace of cups, and the six of cups. I'm going to start here. You are calling back a soulmate. You stayed for a very long time ignoring that feeling inside you or maybe not you are calling a soulmate, maybe someone from your past or maybe someone in you, but you are calling a real love in your life. You are done settling and have that okay life. You don't want that anymore. You stayed unhappy and not satisfied for a very long time with this Five of Cups on top. Now you decided that you are going to explore that unconditional love that you have inside you. And I believe this has to do with your spiritual gift as well. You will start to call a soulmate to your life. You are done from this type of life as an emperor here in the middle, calling this Ten of Cups energy to enter your life with someone you know or with someone you don't know yet in this lifetime. You want to be happy. And this is what you are doing right now. You are calling happiness to enter your life. And I believe with this Six of Cups here, you will succeed. In your health, you stayed for a very long time charging ahead, forgetting everything about how you feel and what you want. And I believe this is the health of your heart. Just going as fast as you can, focusing everywhere except inside you. And I believe you stayed for a very long time, not satisfied with your life. Like surviving, managing. I feel suddenly you will stop running and face these two fives inside you, the five of pentacles and the five of wands. You are missing life, missing happiness, missing love. For some of you, missing someone you know. For others, missing the energy of being in love, the feeling of being alive with someone you feel happiness with. And you want to deal with that feeling of loneliness and not happy, left out in the cold. And you want to deal with the feeling of that conflict inside you. I feel 
This reading is telling me, Taurus, that you stayed for a long time doing what's right for everyone around you. Trying to make everyone happy, like fathery energy with that emperor on top there. And it seems you put a lot of effort in this life thinking that you are making trying to make everyone happy but the reactions that you are seeing from the people around you that whatever you are doing it's not enough then you came to a conclusion that you are wasting your life thinking that you are making everyone around you happy but they are not or they are showing you that they are not. They are pretending that they are not satisfied. And whatever you will do is not enough. Sucking the energy out of you. Trying always to give you the impression that what you are doing is not enough. And you have to do more. And you are trying to do more and more. Running, charging ahead with this chariot here. Then suddenly, with this oyster here, you will take that face, that aggressive face, stopping immediately and trying to deal with all these feelings deep inside you, between the five of pentacles, the five of wands, and the five of cups. Not knowing why you are doing all this and you are keep charging, running, running, running to make people happy. And nobody is. And suddenly something will came to your mind or will come to your mind telling you these people are sucking the energy out of you. It's not about not being what you are doing is not enough. They will always give you the impression that what you are doing is not enough because they want more from you. More and more and more. And suddenly you will stop and think, why I'm doing this? Why? For what? I'm wasting my energy, my time. To make people happy. And these people, they are sucking my energy out of me. They are happy everywhere except in front of me. Not giving me that feeling of satisfaction that I'm doing something good. I believe, Taurus, based on what I'm seeing here, for the Taurus that I'm connected with, you're going to... Turn off the table. Throw everything away. Leave everything behind. And go to yourself. Thinking about you, what you want, and how you can make yourself happy. I think you're going to leave everything behind and charge ahead following your passion. With this money and career here, there is something always deep inside you with this Ace of Wands. And do you see this third eye here? You always wanted to do something, but you stopped yourself thinking that this is not the right thing to do. Right now, you are rethinking that and trying to take a decision. Maybe you will do what you want to do. And with this Knight of Pentacles, you will charge ahead alone, leaving everything behind, taking only your gift, yourself, your intuition, and leave. I don't think you are going to be in this Queen of Cups energy, that mother that will do everything to everyone to make them happy. I believe you are coming out of this energy. 
looking for what you, I think the energy that you are dealing with Taurus pushed you too hard that impression that they were always giving you about not being satisfied with everything you are doing was too much and I think this is the best thing that will happen to you that this person was a lot needy a lot this was the point where you will flip to think about yourself and stop thinking about making everyone happy except you because they are they are not appreciating what you are doing they are sucking your energy and they are trying to be happy and make you miserable and I believe you are not going to stay there anymore. You are taking back your power. Looking for this Ten of Cups. This is your goal. And you are going to reach there. You will call a soulmate of yours. Maybe right now you will be in this study, praying and meditating mood. So you can organized yourself after this big change then you will put your plan and you are heading to this ten of cups let's see the outcome judgment you will learn your lesson Taurus you will learn your lesson this judgment is about taking the lessons that you learned from this previous cycle and turn on to start a new cycle in your life You are coming out of this sick, tired energy, freeing your soul. Do you see this lady here? You will free this soul, your soul like this lady. For, I think for a lot of you in here, based on this reading, I feel that you will go deep in spirituality starting from now. You will start to learn more about spirituality, past life, energies, all this thing that you hold it inside you from a long time, thinking that this is not important. I believe this time, now, this spiritual gift of yours will be the most important thing in your life and it seems this is the way of spirit using life to push us where we have to be it seems if we will not be really deeply under pressure this shell will not crack and we that spirituality that soul of us will not come out and most of the time, the spiritual gift will come only after that hard life, that deep, strong pressure that we will live. So that shell will crack and something beautiful will come out of us. We'll change our life completely. We will be in a place and this will take us to a complete different place. And going through this spiritual awakening, the most important thing that I experienced in my life, and I think there is a lot like me, that feeling of peace inside you, that you are in peace with yourself, with life, with earth, with everything. You are not worried anymore. You are not sad that much. You are not tense, not knowing, scared of tomorrow. Of course, there is sometimes we will be weak. But in general, we will be in peace with ourselves. Thinking and believing that we will always be fine. 
we will always be protected and secure. Maybe there is not a lot of things will change in your life, but the people when they saw you, they will think that your life changed completely because of that you are so calm and happy, unlike you maybe a few months ago. But they don't want and they didn't experience yet if they are lucky to find their way through this. You found your gift. You opened your eyes to that other dimension of life. You will start to feel calm about this lifetime when you understand that this is not everything. Before you open your eyes, your third eye will open. We will believe that this is everything and we don't have anything in this life with, and that life is everything we have. Then after a while, when we experience other dimensions, we know that it's not important anymore. If I have something tangible if I, or if I don't, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm happy and I feel safe. And I know that the divine and Gaia will help me when I need the help. I'm not alone. You will experience that fathery energy with you. Like a small kid walking with, their, with your father. You know that you are safe with them and everything you need, they will bring for you. So you are not worried about anything. Good luck, my dear. Well, this is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thank you so much for your love and support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.